Hey guys, this is CP3EP, and I'm back to give you guys some tips and tricks on how the pros do no money spent. And some of these you may know about, and some of them you may not. But I have, through the years, picked these things up from these guys. And the guys who have the most coins, the most um, XP, uh, the most stubs, I guess you would call it, instead of coins, um, they're the guys that are doing these things. Now, some guys are going out and spending a lot of money. But let me give you some tips and tricks so that you can spend less money and hopefully no money in your journey, whether you're going to do Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty, March to October, Franchise, the Negro Leagues, uh, whatever game mode you like the most, I want to help you get there at less cost to you. So the first thing I'll say is if you haven't bought the game already, please buy the limited edition Derek Jeter on the cover version of Road to the Show 23. It costs more. It costs maybe 20 to $30 more. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if it's you have to ask your parents for a little bit more money or your wife or whoever, spend it because it's worth it. Because let me tell you what you get along with other things that don't go along with no money spent. But you get 30K in free stubs. That's right, 30,000 free stubs you get to start off with by buying that limited edition. 30,000 stubs. And along with that, you get tons of free packs that can help jumpstart your Diamond Dynasty team. And if usually with no money spent, Diamond Dynasty is the game that, that people are trying to play. And so if you have not bought it already or your birthday's coming up, someone wants to get you a gift, Ask for that gift because you get 30K and free stubs and tons of packs. So that's number one. Number two, it seems kind of simple, but it's claim your free packs. Like for instance... I haven't really put together my Diamond Dynasty squad for the most part because I was waiting to do this video. But if you'll look at my players, most of them are like 65, 70, 80, 68, 73, 74, 75. You get this free, and I think that's 88, could be 86, but it's hard to see on my screen, but it is a diamond Derek Jeter card, and you have to claim it, but I did, and I did nothing special, and now he's sitting as my shortstop on my uh, on 
my on my club basically so my no money spent club and so claim your free packs that's that's a big one and open them um every year about once a month stubs go on sale and i don't know the percentage but i know for sure they go up to a minimum of 25 percent off on stub costs so once a month you'll have an opportunity to buy you have to pay the same amount but you'll get 25 percent more stubs so basically free stubs so even though if you get a playstation card for your birthday or for whatever you might want to go and spend it right away i would say wait and spend it when they have their almost monthly sales and you can get a lot more uh, free stubs so something to keep in mind and I, I mean free is free and when you say no money spent generally that means less money spent because usually there's a little bit of money spent but it's just being wiser about doing it and there's tips and tricks that can help you um, be ahead of the game be ahead of those other guys and be able to put together teams uh, for your diamond dynasty team that can compete with other teams because you will level up to them so one thing i want to show you is it was a secret to me till a couple of years ago and i didn't think too much of it at first but I didn't try it. I just didn't think it would it would work. And I was blown away at how much at how many stubs that I made by buying and selling cards. Now you can do it with gloves. You can do it with there's certain things I wouldn't do it with. Um, gloves are okay. Batting gloves are okay. Um, but I usually just stick to cards. And my general rule is, depending on how high the card goes, I try not to, to buy the higher cost cards if you will so take this Anthony Santander for example I like to have a six thousand dollar cushion if possible so it's selling now for twenty seven thousand and you can buy it supposedly for thirty two seven ninety five but I want to buy it so if I click on it and I check my buy and sell options. I actually can buy it for the sellable price. So the twenty eight thousand is the top price that someone's put out there. So if I were to put out 28500 say, most likely that thing, I would, I would buy it. Someone would sell it to me in an instant. And what you want to do 
is once you've sold it or bought it, you go over here to this side and you see how these, the numbers below owned, below my face, and it says owned, and then there's the price, and the price goes up, you want to try to sell it for a price, the lowest price on there. So the lowest price is $32,795. So maybe you want to do $32,750. Well, you bought it for $28,500. So if you sell it for $32,500, that's a $4,000 difference. Now, there are fees on one side or the other. The buyer or the seller has to pay a percentage to EA or to the game um, for you to buy or sell that card. But still, out of that, you're going to make an easy 3,000 um, stubs. And you can do that for an hour and make 100,000 stubs. You can. You can do it. I've seen guys do it. I've done it myself. And so it's not cheating the system. It's just playing within the rules of the system. And so if if you want to earn stubs, then that's one of the best ways that I've seen that people do it. And just understand that the margins, the larger the margins are, the larger the difference between the buy now and sell nows. Those are what are important. If they're too close together, like this one, for example, Francisco Lindor, the sell now is 67580 and the buy now is 68000 With the, f the fees and everything that they would charge, the low fees, but they're going to be fees, you wouldn't make any money on that card. So you don't want to mess with those cards. You want to go down to this U Darvish card, which there's a $6,000 difference here. And just follow the tips, follow the steps that I shared with you. And sometimes they'll sell immediately. Sometimes it'll take five minutes. Sometimes it'll take two minutes. If it takes longer than five or so minutes, someone may have outbid you. So you may have to go back and up your bid or lower your bid. But if you do that for a short amount of time, you will have countless stubs and you won't have to pay a thing. So that's another thing you can do. One thing too is, and that's that's one of the biggies, is buying and selling the cards and knowing how to do it. The other is playing the programs. This seems pretty simple but sometimes people get overwhelmed. Like when I first started a few years back, I got a little overwhelmed with all the different game modes. We'll just go into Team Affinity and look at what you can, you can obtain. You, you can obtain this choice pack which has 84s, an 87, and four 89s in it by just getting 5,000 um, tickets, basically. 
and you get icons, you get live series players, which I can't go into this one. You get cards like these that are 92 overalls. They would be your best player on, on your team immediately if you got one of these. And they're only 20,000. And you can go all the way down here and do that. And the way you do it is you do these moments and these missions and exchanges that they have down here. And they're very simple. So check this out. In this task, you'll get a thousand rewards, reward points for just getting one extra base hit with Cedric Mullins. And you know what happens if you go into that and he strikes out and you don't get that extra base hit. You just hit X and you go right back in to the game and you try it again and you try it again and you try it again and the difficulty's veteran so many of you are used to you know legend or whatever it might be um it should be very easy for you um veteran is not completely hard for me but it's not the easiest for me but I'm able to I was able to finish off all these and in just 30 minutes or so and there are things like tally two hits one extra base hit with Rafael Devers Giancarlo Stanton hit one home run and again, you don't have to go through all this waiting after you don't earn it the first time. You can just start right over and keep going after it. Almost like you're just going back up to bat each time, each time. And like this is length one game. So you would actually, um, he would come up each time. In the game, just him, it would skip to, to his at-bats. And there you could try to hit a home run. And it is as simple as it looks. Uh, team build missions. Um, a lot of these are self-explanatory. If you need more help on these, there are videos on these. There are exchanges where when you get so many of, say, AL East players, you can exchange them for re rewards, 2,500 rewards, 5,000 rewards, and 10,000 rewards. And they have that for every division. So you can do NL West. There's Tony Gwynn, 84. And there's some 88s and 89s. Trevor Story, Blake Snell, and Christy Mathewson. And the 88, Justin Turner. Some of these you can't sell in the store, and some of these you can. And look at this. You can get one of these five guys just by getting 15,000 or 20,000 um, tokens or... Um, they're not stubs, but they're, they're tokens that you earn by doing these moments. And so 
if you look below here under NL West, you have all these different things you can do to earn uh, XP, if you will. And, and tally two extra base hits with Christian Walker. Hit one home run with Charlie Blackman. Strike out four batters and pitch two innings. Do not give up one run. Tally six total bases. Tally four total bases with Jock Peterson. And all those are worth a thousand apiece. And then, like I said, there's all kinds of stuff down here that you can do. And some of this stuff you guys already know, but for you guys that don't, this should be very, very helpful. Another mode where you can gain massive amounts of XP is Road to the Show. Road to the Show is one of the easiest ways to to get XP and to move up these boards and get free cards, free bats, free gloves, um, free a lot of things. So even if you're just wanting to play Road to the Show and you're not really um, into these other game modes, uh, you still can gain things that will help you in Road to the Show. And I don't know how I feel about this. Some guys go to extremes, and I won't even mention those extremes um, as I don't know how ethical they are. But one thing you can do is you can put it on the easiest mode that there is in Road to the Show. And what do you think would gain you more XP than anything? Strikeouts? Ground outs? Fly outs? No. Home runs? Doubles? Triples? RBIs? So if you're playing on the easiest mode, what do you think is going to happen most of the time? Your guy is going to be pretty darn good in Road to the Show. And so you're going to continue to accumulate that XP and continue to accumulate packs and icons and ritual things and uh, anything you can think of that they put out there for you to earn. So that probably would be the last thing I would say. And the one thing that I did change, and in Road to the Show, it's not a, as big of a deal, but in... Um, some of the challenges, for the most part, I went ahead and changed my batting eye. And instead of that batting eye that it gives you, where it shows you up to bat, and then it shows the strike zone, and then it shows the pitcher, you can actually change it to what's called the strike zone view. So you have to go into the settings and change it to strike zone. And I think there may be strike zone too. But I just put it on strike zone and what it does is it moves the camera up so that you can see the ball better coming out of the pitcher's hand. So when you're playing on veteran difficulty, if that's not something that you are very used to, it becomes a lot easier to see the ball come out of his hand and see where it's going to go. And again, it's called 
the strike zone hitting view and you'd have to go to settings and change that to strike zone and I promise you you'll hit a lot better in those challenges it'll be a lot easier you don't think so but it zooms you in and so you have that closer of a view of the picture and you can see more clearly what's coming out of his hand and which way it's spinning and all that stuff that you need to know to be able to knock the heck out of it. So guys, for the most part, that's all I've got for you. Those are some pretty big tips and tricks and I think they'll help a lot of you even if you're not on a no money spent journey. If you just want to save money and don't want to just throw it away, use these tips or use some of these tips and you'll have a much more enjoyable experience playing this game. And I love this game. And I've just watched how the best do it and I've I've seen every video and watched every guy with all these followers and they put out these videos and so I put this together as kind of a combination of the things that I've seen that have worked the best so take it for what it's worth but good luck to you thank you for joining me it's always nice having you if you are not a subscriber I hope you subscribe. Um, please smash that like button. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. And I look forward to talking to you again, friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.